Hi everyone, and welcome to a course on how to create an animated comic book intro. In this course, we'll learn step by step the basics of how to create this type of animation and all the necessary skills along the way. So let's get started by looking at how we can create a comic book style look for our chosen photos. So here you can see I've opened up a photo that I want to use for the animation in Photoshop. And the first thing that you want to do before adding our effect is to make sure that it is cropped to the right size for our final video, which in this example will be a 1920 by 1080 video. Now this can be done in many different ways, but the one that I find simplest is to just simply create a new document and we're just going to create the width and the height that we want for our document, which is 1920 by 1080. And we want the resolution to be at 150. Click OK. And then from here, we simply want to copy. So just press Control A on the keyboard to uh, select our whole photo here. Press Control C to copy it and go to our new document and then press Control V to paste it like so. Now hopefully the photo will fit inside your new document but if it doesn't all you have to do is press Control T on the keyboard and you can start resizing your photo until it fits into your document like so. Cool. Now this technique of resizing images is quite useful as it ensures all the images that we export from this document will be the same dimensions and resolution. So to begin creating the effect, we need to first create a duplicate copy of our photo layer, which is over here. So let's select it and then press Control J twice on the keyboard. And then let's go ahead and rename the top layer here to half tone. And then the second layer here, let's rename this poster edges. And then let's go ahead and click on the eye icon on the top layer to hide it. And then with the poster edges layer selected, we want to go over to the top here and click filter. And then go to filter gallery, which is over here at the top. And then this will open up a new window. From here we want to navigate to artistic which is at the top here and open that up and then we want to go over and select poster edges like so. And then over to the right here we can go ahead and edit and change these values to your liking. So for example we'll make the edge thickness here 2, the edge intensity 1 and the posterization 2. You can play about with these numbers and see how it affects your photo on the window on the left here. And once you're happy with the way that it looks, let's go ahead and click OK. Now let's go ahead and select our half, half tone layer here and unhide it. And then we want to go to filter. And then we want to go to pixelate. And here we want to select color half tone. From here, we want to enter a value of 6 for the max radius and then just leave the other screen angles at the default values and then click OK. Excellent. Now we want to change the blend mode of this half tone by clicking at the drop down box over here and then change this to soft light. Now you'll see our photo has a really cool comic book style effect. Now let's select all the layers here and then we want to press Control G on the keyboard to group them all together and then let's go ahead and rename this 01. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and export this image by going to File, Export and Save for Web. And then here you can make some final adjustments to the sizing of the file type. So for this project, we're going to create a PNG, like so. And then we want to choose a location 
to save the file and then click save. Once you've done that, we can repeat the process again on the same document. So let's go ahead and open up a new photo here. Press Control A to select it all and then press Control C. Let's go back to our document here and then press Control V to paste it. Control T to resize the image as you wish, like so. And then once you've done that, again, press Control J twice to make copies of these. The first one will be called half tone, and then the second one will be poster. And then just sort of repeat the process again. So let's hide half tone, select the poster layer here, go to filter, and then go to filter gallery, select poster edges, click OK, select the half tone again, and then go to filter, pixelate color half tone, select OK, and then change the blending mode here to soft light. Group all these layers here like so, and then name this one O2, and then again, go ahead and export this image like so. Now make sure all the saved images are named in a numeric sequence in the order that you want the images to appear in the animation. This will be extremely important when we export the images in the next video. Awesome! So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll start creating the comic book intro animation. See you all there!